So a horge falcha rivgakdin on sun you. September is the time for refocusing, a time for recommitting, a time for thinking about the future that we want to build. September is also a time for renewal, renewing our politics and our activism, renewing our bonds of comradeship and togetherness, renewing our determination to realise the goals of those Republicans who pointed the way forward. Toshin Fenegober Erwaha Gok Seronak, Neil She Eska Igoni. Sinn Fein is working to deliver for all our citizens, and it's not always easy. Things don't always go the way we hope, but Republicans are about the bigger picture, and therefore we can take the hard knocks and face the bad days. It's how we deal with those setbacks that most defines us. After the recent elections, across every parish in Ireland, we went out and we engaged with our members, our supporters, those who voted for us, those who didn't vote for us. And I want to say to all of you that we have heard what you have said and that we are acting on it. We should never underestimate the scale of our cause, realising the Republic. This is a big, big job that we have undertaken together. There are hundreds of thousands of people across this island who choose Sinn Féin to represent them, to stand up for them, to defend their rights and their economic interests. They believe in Sinn Féin. They trust Sinn Féin. And they know that a better Ireland and a brighter future is possible. And it's our job to deliver. And we will not let them down. Not now and not ever. It's our job to change the course of Irish history so that prosperity can be enjoyed by the many and not just the few. And history is unfolding in profound and dramatic ways all around us. Brexit is shaping the times in which we live. Our island faces its greatest threat and challenge in a generation. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson follows a fantasy in which the rights and interests of the Irish people can be readily cast aside. So it's time to call Mr Johnson's fantasy for what it is, profoundly stupid and immeasurably dangerous. Mr Johnson's stupid, dangerous fantasy cannot become Ireland's nightmare. Because Brexit is a very English problem and the consequences of it cannot be shifted onto Ireland. As the 31st of October approaches, and pressure mounts, neither on Taoiseach nor Michel Barnier can blink in the face of Tory intransigence because too much is at stake. <laughs> Despite Mr Johnson's claims to the contrary, the path he is following would lead us to the reimposition of a hard border. So the British Prime Minister needs to hear this that the Irish people will not allow our country, our communities, our economy or our peace to be vandalised by him. There can be no return of a hard border, no customs checks, no more division on this island to suit the needs of a British government that has no interest in Ireland's future. Coffer coentu an a cosinch. The Good Friday Agreement, the Irish People's Agreement, must be defended at all costs. The backstop, the Irish People's Insurance Policy, remains the bottom line, the very minimum needed to protect our interests. And we understand acutely the importance of the backstop because Sinn Féin came up with the solution when we proposed that the North should be given designated special status within the EU. Despite the noisy rhetoric from many quarters who said it couldn't be done, here we are today 
defending the backstop to the hilt. The bottom line guarantees, and they are only modest bottom lines, cannot be bartered or bargained away. The future of our peace, of our society, and of our all Ireland economy demands the political resolve and leadership to see Ireland's interests upheld. Shut me van for an aum a yenin wich ulvu then knognesh komai. The forthcoming budget will be delivered as we approach the Brexit crescendo. And never before has the need to deliver a progressive and fair budget been more acute. Leo Varadkar, Pascal Donoghue and this Fine Gael government must realise that Brexit will impact on everybody. And so if we are all in this together, that means that no one can be left behind. The budget must deliver for Irish workers and Irish business, deliver security, protection and confidence for the future. This security, this confidence does not presently exist because this government is not capable of getting the big jobs done. From the National Broadband Plan to the Children's Hospital to overruns in the health budget, we have a government entrenched in debacle and marked by incompetence. With Brexit on our doorstep, Fine Gael cannot keep asking ordinary people to gaze, hopefully, for the light at the end of the tunnel, especially when that light gets further away. People who work hard in their jobs need decent wages, and they need to see those wages go further. Hard-working families shouldn't see their incomes hoovered up by rip-off insurance costs, extortionate rent, and sky-high utility bills. People cannot live and prosper on a diet of broken promises. They want solutions, and Sinn Féin is the party of solutions. The government talks of a rainy day fund. Well, the Brexit weather front is moving in. Government, it is raining. So we propose now a €2 billion Euro stabilisation fund because we have to prepare all of us island-wide for the economic and social shock of Brexit. The Brexit omnibus bill moved through the door needs now to be revisited because it's not fit for purpose. In the Dáil, Sinn Féin has focused on providing solutions to the real challenges people face in everyday life. To this end, our team has produced upwards of 40 pieces of legislation. And similarly, Sinn Féin's budget measures will again present tangible solutions. We will focus on ensuring that people can build and afford a decent life and that anybody who falls behind will be supported, not left behind. So Brexit must not be used as an excuse for Fine Gael to lurch even further to the, light, to the right. In fact, Brexit provides a reason to do the very, very opposite. To prioritise the welfare and well-being of ordinary citizens by investing in the things that will help to strengthen our society bolster our economy and give our people the best chance in life. Tokenistic tax cuts that mostly benefit the well-off are simply not going to cut it in the Brexit era. So our message and challenge to the Taoiseach and the government is this. Deliver a budget that ensures that any sick person can see a doctor can get a hospital bed and access to treatment in a timely fashion. Deliver a budget that provides modern housing solutions for families and communities instead of enriching corporate landlords. Deliver a budget that supports quality jobs and makes the recovery real for everybody by investing in infrastructure. Deliver a budget that gives rural Ireland a real chance. Sinn Féin has offered solutions time and again, and the government has knocked them back or ignored them time and again. But we will offer them again. 
Sinn Féin will show how to deliver the affordable homes needed. Sinn Féin will show how to end the rent, insurance and childcare fee rip-off. Sinn Féin will show how to budget for a fair economy and a better society. Marta Bialak Nis Fjar Aum. Brexit, of course, will also shape the context of forthcoming elections. The prospect of Westminster elections grow by the day. In all likelihood, there will be a general election in the South sometime in the next six months, and perhaps four by elections in between. Augusta Sinn Fein Ulav the Natawakon Shah. Sinn Fein is ready for these elections. In the North, when the election is called, we will stand on a strong, credible, anti-Brexit ticket. The DUP, for their part, will stand on a pro-Brexit platform. And they have to know, at this stage, that they are supporting an agenda that is set on wrecking Ireland. Aligning themselves with the politics of London rather than with the politics of our communities at home spells calamity. Sinn Féin will also stand on an abstentionist ticket. No Irish Democrat, no genuine Irish Republican would ever take a seat in the British Parliament. Much less much less swear an oath to the British Crown. And I understand that people want solutions for Brexit. We, we understand that. However, if anybody ever really believed that solutions for Ireland are to be found at Westminster, well, surely that delusion has been swept away during the circus that we saw over the last fortnight. If Fianna Fáil feel differently, let them contest the election on a go to Westminster platform and see how they get on. You see, you see, Sinn Féin, we are abstentionists from Westminster. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael abstain from the north of Ireland and have done for almost a century. So we're not taking lectures from, from parties who looked the other way, who ran away, who opted out, and who abandoned northern nationalists. They won't lecture us, and I'll tell you, they will not lecture northern nationalism. No chance. In the South, Brexit has provided political cover for the sham confidence and supply government of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. It's a government on its last legs, worn down by the weight of PR spin, having failed to deliver real solutions. As with the forthcoming by-elections, Sinn Féin will be ready to fight the general election on the basis of Republican left policies. Policies that will make people's lives better by ending the rip-off and lifting the burden and stress caused by the housing crisis and an economy that is rigged against them. We will offer a platform that has real solutions. And of course, in all of these elections and beyond, Sinn Féin will continue to argue for Irish unity as the best idea for Ireland's future. Unity is positive. Unity is progressive. Unity is a chance to realign Irish life, to harness the vast potential and the hopes of all of us who call Ireland home. And the folly of the Tory Brexit has given a modern shape to an historical imperative to end the involvement of the British government in Irish affairs. Because partition has been a disaster, unity simply makes sense. It provides for a future without a border that has fostered division, a future in which all of our communities can move forward together. So I believe and we believe that preparation for Irish unity must start now. It's the responsible thing to do. 
Irish unity cannot be the project of Sinn Féin alone. So on Taoiseach, the Irish government and every Irish political democrat and leader worthy of the name must become advocates for unity. I'm very certain that the ending of partition will be achieved through the coming together of all strands of Irish society. The unity of our people, a common unity of purpose, will deliver an end to partition in our time. Beg era antaha lelin or sail. So friends, Sinn Féin is the party that is on the side of ordinary people. The party determined to create a new Ireland. We are the party of solutions. We have the policies, we have the people, we have the political will to deliver. In this dull term, we we'll continue to hold the government to account and to bring forward legislation that advances our political vision. We'll work for a fair economy, for decent jobs, for union rights, and long-term security for workers. We'll work for a health system where treatment is delivered on the basis of need and not on ability to pay. And we'll work once again to make education the best route for advancing to equality. We'll work for real and sustainable solutions to the climate crisis. We will work for a united and a free Ireland right across this land. Because a fair, a just and an equal Ireland is always our goal. An Ireland in which no one is left behind. This is the type of Ireland envisaged by those who signed the proclamation. A truly democratic Ireland, free and united with equality of citizenship. It was a great idea in 1916. It's a great idea in 2019. It remains our inspiration and our aim today. And as we approach this new political term, we renew, we refocus, we recommit together to that vision. Gurumila Mahogov Galer.